Michelle will throw the ball in to commence the first semi-final for 2013 and it comes caught up amongst the number twos finally George Merrick faints and then goes to take the ball forward he's got a bit of smooth ground there to roll the ball forward beautifully back there by John Fisher he wasn't mucking around while he rolled it forward and it'll be taken on the stick side here now by James Harper Harper's shot now goes up to John Fisher once again his shot hits a bit of traffic picked up by Merrick Merrick gets plenty of length on the ball but he's pushed it way out to the left and uh, it won't quite go to the back line though so John Fisher's going to have to play this and uh, he gets shoved off it there by Ollie Hipwood and that's up to George Merrick Merrick will try to bring it into goal open those goals up a little good stick work picked up there by Hipwood no it's trapped there by uh, Terrera and uh, Gizema Terrera brings the ball over the sideline so not quite getting the direction he'd like there but um, he's still attacking strongly and got them into that attacking zone and the ball will now be thrown in from the sideline in it comes backed out there by James Harper nice strong shot takes it well over the halfway line so Inchas Bay comes back in defense for Hong Kong his shot glances off uh, George Merrick's pony and uh, goes out to the right hand side from their direction so James Harper's able to come through and pick it up now running it in towards goal in goes John Fisher makes him work hard for it. Harper shot goes out to the left picked up there by Ollie Hipwood no by Merrick and I said he's very accurate around the goal and so George Merrick Gets the first score for England. So in the, here he comes now. You see he just, he, 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 he got around the bump there. And once he gets inside a goal, Merrick, we've seen it all through this tournament. Every game he's played, he's been able to um, score quite a lot of goals down close to the thing from the field. So this time, Kajema Terrera brings the ball forward for Hong Kong. Takes it to the right of the centre now. He's got an angled shot from here. Can't quite pick it up, and it's going to be Merrick coming in to defend for England. He'll take the ball out towards the sideline. Doesn't get a lot of length on it. John Fisher puts the ball into centre field. Merrick's there to play it, but the umpires have blown the whistle. So the rules of Paolo are fairly simple. If, you, uh, if you're travelling down the same line as the ball is travelling, you have the right to hit the ball. Anybody coming in at an angle, which may intimidate or infringe your right of way, uh, that's a foul and a penalty is awarded. In this case, it's James Harper hits the ball and he hits it high and wide because it's gone onto the roof of the pavilion. Uh, probably not what he was hoping to do, but at least it's got them away from the defensive area. So pressure now on Hong Kong to get back on the attack. They're trailing by a goal. England leading, one goal to nil. Through it goes. And it's going to be picked up there by George Merrick. Merrick takes the ball up to the halfway, over the halfway. Look at the control he has, but he's hooked out of the next play. And, uh, well, umpires were there. They blew the whistle. Wait and see. Maybe he was turning, just coming around the corner here. He went in and played it back into... Well, I think they played, they played across the horse's legs there, and that's dangerous. So a hit on the spot is awarded to Hong Kong. Kajema Terrera coming through. John Fisher checking out the uh, density of the snow. Um, seen a couple of falls here. John Fisher had a, a good one the first day. Here he goes. His horse just rears on him. And uh, that's a very uncomfortable position, but he landed quite safely, so... We'll see. Okay. Back on board. Well done, John Fisher. Some of the spectators in this spacious double pavilion that's been erected here for the snow polo. So. so John Fisher just making sure he's got his gear adjusted properly. We'll throw the ball in now towards the sideline. Just about right on halfway. England lead by one goal to nil. Umpire Jason Dixon. Hands the ball to JJ Alberti. 
will throw it in. It goes out on the Hong Kong side. Backed in there by Inchas Bay. Lovely backhand shot. Takes it down to the left of centre. John Fisher coming through. So is Ollie Hipwood. He'll play the near side shot for the... No, he'll take, cut the tail backhand. And he puts it up on about the 60-yard line. Now he is uh, Guillermo Torreira bringing the ball down for Hong Kong. On to the attack they go. Torreira's taken off the ball there by Harper. And the bounce is out off a pony's feet. First one to it's going to be John Fisher. He'll take the ball around the corner now. Just tucks it under, but um, it's taken by Harper. And Harper's got a man up in front here, Ollie Hipwood. And he'll take it down over the halfway line, bring it off the boards. That gives him a new line. In comes from Mount down in Chas Bay to make him work hard for it. But Hipwood's still got possession. Bring it down into the corner, though. He needs to bring it out to the centre from here. Not able to do so. John Fisher's backhand is met by Hipwood. Now it's picked up by Terrera. Terrera just brings the ball along the boards. Can't get the next shot, but Inchas Bay can. Pony treads on the ball, bounces out now. And uh, in goes Inchas Bay, bring it up off the boards, in towards Gore. He's put the heel of the stick on that one. It rolls down into the corner. Still in play, though. He cuts it across the line. It's sitting up in front. Harper with a desperation save here, and he makes it. He brings the ball out to uh, just... And tucks it nicely now. Now he's got two white shirts up there in front. First one to it is Merrick. But in comes Harper now. Bringing the ball up again. It's gone out to the left. He needs a cut shot from here. In comes in Chas Bay. Make him work for it. And uh, his shot at goal goes to the left of the post. So the uh, England team starting to dominate a little here. Hong Kong not able to get any clean shots at goal. That's a couple that... Uh, England have had um, already one through and then a couple since then so it's now Guillermo Torreira he'll try and bring the ball into the attacking zone he's done it nicely just drops it and look at he puts a little leg break on it and it'll um it'll run in towards the goal in comes Hipwood Hipwood shot stops it there cleared there now George Merrick clears the ball but John Fisher's cleaned it up and he takes on he strikes for goal but unfortunately it goes to the left so no score results it will be England to hit in again from the back line. James Harper bringing the ball up now. Finally straightening it up. Hits the boards and goes over the side. So there's uh, 25 seconds left in the chucker. We'll probably see a throw in. Um, probably have time for the ball to be thrown in before the final siren sounds. And So they've stopped the clock to give them a clear 15 seconds. That's actually time to score a goal from halfway. If you can get immediate possession. So if either team is able to do that. No, I think um, George Merrick's got a problem with a the horse there, so he'll just take him off the field. And take him off to give him to the grooms and he'll get on to a new pony, it's probably the one he was going to ride in the second chucker, but he'll come on for this 15 seconds. the ruck it comes and it's turned up there by George Merrick but it's picked up nicely by Inchas Bay doesn't get to Torreira but it bounces off George Merrick's pony and here goes Inchas Bay heading towards the goal now three seconds left in the chuck he's got a cut shot from here but it's Merrick who gets the stick to the ball and the siren goes and so the first chucker ends with the score now uh, one nil to England and they've been the stronger team in this first chucker but just at the end there Hong Kong Got a bit of an attack going and started to camp down in the attacking half a little bit, so I think there might have been a whistle before the... Yes, there has. They've awarded a free hit to England, right or just inside the back line. So, and the ball goes high in the air, but the whistle blew. And... Uh, before he'd hit the ball, so I'm not sure where the penalty comes from there. Uh, 
Jason Dixon came down to this other end of the field. Maybe there was another horse on the field or something uh, which we couldn't see. But anyway, it's still England with the hit. And uh, Four, three, three, two, James Hart will try and keep possession of ball until the siren sounds. There it goes. He's put it out again. That's what he was hoping to do. And so we'll go now off at the end of the first chunk, with England leading 1-0, and certainly having the better of that first chunk. A bit of pressure on Hong Kong now, but we've got four chuckers to go, to, to play today, so three chuckers to go. And um, this Hong Kong side's capable of, sometimes takes a bit uh, time to start, but capable of getting into a game very quickly. So quite demanding on the horses, but they've put a wonderful lot of horses together here at the Metropolitan Polo Club, just out of Tianjin. And uh, first to get to the ball is George Merrick. He gets a lot of possession from the lineouts. He's very accurate once he comes in towards goal, but this time he's pushed it out to the right. He'll trap it before it gets to the back line. Plays a little backhand around the corner. Now trying to keep possession, rolling it around there, but he's turned up in front of a player coming through and right through this tournament. The umpires have said no can't do that here it's too dangerous with uh, horses coming in if they do collide at angles on this slippery surface so they've been very very strict on that ruling you must have plenty of room to move if you're going to turn the ball across the line so Gajema Torreira will take the hit for Hong Kong China brings the ball up to the well, about 30 yards out, still sneaking it past the opposition, keeps possession. John Fisher goes back to cover behind him. George Merrick comes in on the near side, gets a backhand in, doesn't get a lot of length on it. Picked up by John Fisher. He takes it up over the halfway line. Harper's back there in defence, gets him out of the way. No, Fisher brings it down in front of goal. Desperate stuff for George Merrick. Beautiful backhand by George Merrick. Puts it out to the boards. And uh, who's going to be next to it? Looks like Oliver Hipwood, but it bounces off a pony's feet. And uh, I think that'll be interesting because the, the line of the ball is actually where it comes off the boards. It's not the line it was hit from the goal mouth. So um, we'll wait and see where the... John Fisher thought he had a right to go in there, but I think probably the England player um, followed that ball off the boards. So... The hit will be taken by James Harper. Now he gets his forward players going. Hipwood goes to the left. Merrick goes to the right. Harper goes down the middle. Well, no, it actually gets to George Merrick, but he's closely marked there by Torreira. And his little shot will be covered by John Fisher. Backhand shot up to Torreira. Torreira will bring it down the side. Now he tries to clean it up. It goes over the halfway line, but it's picked up by Harper. Harper's backhand shot to Fisher. Uh, Fisher meets it nicely. Brings the ball across the field. Almost Kyle gets the umpire. Now in comes Torreira. Torreira bringing the ball to the boards. Now he came, brings it along the boards. In comes Hipwood. Can't come across there though. Torreira keeps possession. Torreira trying to run the ball into goal himself. Just going in there. Merrick tries to hook him out of it. Torreira's very, very accurate with the ball. It's sitting up in front. Picked up there by Hub. No, he doesn't have to. It goes over the back line for or behind. And there is no score. So the England team breathe a sigh of release fifth time and they'll bring the ball back into play. Now this game's getting close. There's in Bay, picks the ball up in front. Can't quite get the backhand in. Hipwood's pony kicks it forward. He'll take it up to the halfway line. Leaning out under the pony's neck. Now he gets it, but it doesn't get a lot of length. But Harper's there. Nice play by James Harper, but it's picked up finally by Harper once again. I thought it was Merrick had come through there. Harper's in front of goal. Harper's got the ball sitting there, but it's going to be picked up here by Torreira. And Torreira's got a chance to maybe get away here, but no. Eventually Merrick goes out and sees the defensive play that's needed. And in comes Torreira. Round the back of the traffic. Takes the ball up along the boards. In goes Harper. Makes him work for it, but Torreira leans out. Just takes the ball forward. Chopped out there by... Riley Hipwood, but it's going to be picked up by John Fisher. Fisher's shot hits Merrick's pony. Now turning up, it's going to be in Bay. Mark down in Bay takes the ball out looking for Torreira. Torreira's there too. Torreira brings the ball on a tap shot, but he reaches out in front and umpire's not happy with it. Let's see if we can have another look at that. Torreira believed he had the line, but he just um, sneaked a half a horse length in front and then uh, reached over in front of the 
player coming through on his stick side. So that's playing across the horse's legs. That's dangerous. And so they lose territory here with uh, James Harper taking the hit in for England. He gets it to the halfway. He gets it over the halfway. He leaves it now for George Merrick to hit it long and strong. Goes out to the right. Hipwood's there. Pony gets in the way. Torreira. Torreira's backhand shot straight up centre feed. Hipwood's read it nicely. He's first onto that line and uh, two or three lengths clear. Harper tries to trap the ball. Torreira turning up now and uh, Merrick comes through. Sorry, Merrick it is now. Now's Harper, but it's backhand there by John Fisher. Fisher's shot is up to Inchas Bay. Inchas Bay brings the ball out towards the sideline. Just trying to give himself a bit of room away from that goal scoring zone. Torreira. Torreira is hooked out of it there by James Harper, but it's left sitting there for John Fisher, who drives it down towards the goal. There's George Merrick in defence. Good defensive backhand by Merrick, but Fisher's read that one too. He'll cut it into centre field. It goes over to the left of the post. Merrick and uh, Torreira coming for the ball. Merrick gives him a bump, but Patera takes the bump, runs it in, and there's Hong Kong's first goal. Gemma Torreira has even the score for the Hong Kong side, and uh, he copped a fair old bump coming in there. Umpires are just having a discussion about that. I don't know whether there's anything going to be said. Um, Ball's not been placed on the ground yet, so. Whether they said Torreira came in at an angle rather than taking the bump, or whether they have awarded a penalty, they have. Now, they must have blown the whistle before it went across the goal line, so a little bit of bad luck there for Hong Kong China, because Torreira actually got that goal, but if the whistle has blown beforehand, the ball is then dead. So that doesn't count. So an open goal penalty now awarded to Hong Kong China. Jeba Torreira, I assume, will take this. He's very accurate around the goal, but um, he was uh, taken amidships as he approached the ball, but he managed to work his way around that and bring the ball down to the goal mouth. So. Gemma Torreira coming in now. Here's the head on shot. He'll walk in quietly. Taps the ball forward, and that one will run through the goal. So the goal goes to Hong Kong anyway, and uh, the scores are all even. Nicely judged there, Gemma Torreira, like a good putty, just had the length right and the direction right. So. so England will hit in from the back line here. James Harper. Looking to see who he's got up in front. Now he runs the ball to the halfway line. Keeps control. No bounces out on the side. Picked up there. And here's Gajema Torreira again. And he's away. Two or three lengths clear. And he can run the ball down to the goal here now. But he's lost control. And it's going to be backhand by Harper. Harper shot takes it out to the boards. This um, inflated ball plays tricks on you. And that was one of them. It just drifted in the air a little. And Harper's backhand shot into the boards. Trapped there by Inchaspe. Inchaspe just uh, brings the ball around. Pushes it under one of the defensive ponies. Now picked up by Merrick. Merrick, girl, is, um, everybody's got their stick in the air there, so they all think they've got right to hit the ball. So We'll wait and see what the umpires think. You see, now there's John Fisher coming in. He goes down to hit the ball, and he's blocked from coming through for the next shot. So I think that's probably where the umpires have said the man in the white shirt was in the way. And so he... Uh, Here the umpires have awarded a penalty to Hong Kong. So here's another opportunity now for Torreira to put the ball through for Hong Kong and that will take them into the lead. Gemma Torreira, another undefended open goal penalty. And again, he'll just walk his horse in. 
Got it right the first time. Can he get it the second time? Yes, he has. And that's another goal to Hong Kong. So they go into the lead for the first time in this game. They now lead England by two goals to one. So pressure on England now. They got that goal early and they haven't been able to put one through since. So now James Harper will drive the ball out to the right. And uh, it comes off the boards, picked up by John Fisher. Fisher just goes round the umpire. He'll try and um, his horse just gives a quick buck as he goes past. Now, picked up there by Ollie Hipwood. Hipwood shot is trapped there by in Chow Space. So there goes the, the bell with 30 seconds left of the chuck. A Hong Kong 2-1 in front and still in the attacking half. Harper wants to get away from there and he's done that nicely. Up over the halfway line it goes now. They've got 16 seconds to score from here. Hipwood gets in the way, but um, and the umpire's not happy with that, so. Well, that's an interesting one. James Harper's coming through with the ball. Oliver Hipwood then Got in the way of him turning, and I think that pushed James Harper out across the line. He was actually travelling himself with a player coming up behind him. So umpires have said it's a run of the play penalty, and we'll get a free hit on the spot to Hong Kong, taken by Gajema Torreira, picked up by John Fisher in midair, and he'll put it out. So I think that will be close to the end of the... Chucker, there goes the siren, there goes the whistle. So at the halfway mark in this game, very, very interesting situation. England totally dominated the first chucker, were leading by one goal to nil when they came into it, but they haven't been able to score since. And now two penalties to Guillermo Torreira have uh, put Hong Kong into the lead by two goals to one. So the ball goes into play and it's picked up immediately by Martin in Bay and he'll take the ball down towards the goal mouth and he runs it in and this looks dangerous here for England and he's got the ball rolling through the goal and out they go to three. So here's some pressure immediately from Hong Kong. The, uh, just watching this goal, in Bay bringing the ball out from the uh, throw in. Just tapped it in and got it on the stick side then and then runs it through the goal and he keeps the defensive players out of the way. George Merrick was there but couldn't reach down and get a stick to the ball, so. And uh, now, so. Well, James Harper shot uh, is, is met there by Inchaus Bay and then turned around by Ollie Hipwood, but it goes over the back line, so England not able to score from there. So Hong Kong would have to have shortened in price now. Three to one, we're in the third. England need the next goal to be in this. Torreira brings it in from the back line. He's got the one on his back, but he's playing down the back now now runs the ball he's got a bit of smooth ice snow to play on here john fisher picks up behind him runs the ball up to halfway harper's pony treads on it turned around by merrick merrick shot there is covered by john fisher john fisher's backhand ollie hipwood drops it on the ground taps a backhand around in house bait steals the ball for hong kong takes it over the halfway line onto the boards harper's shot down along the boards as well he's found ollie hipwood but hipwood gets a bump there from Inchas Bay, so from Torreira, who turns the ball around, and John Fisher's on the end of the pass. In comes James Harper, comes across, umpire's not happy. And so, I think it will be Hong Kong to get the penalty hit, almost always if the whistle goes, when man's hit the ball, he's hit it from the wrong place. So, some of the spectators here for the semi-finals crowd here on the Saturday. So this time it's a, a defended goal penalty. The uh, defending side, England in this case, is able to stand a man in the goal mouth to try and block the ball. Looks like it can it's going to be Oliver Hipwood. Gajema Torreira will take the hit. 
So it's back a further 10 yards or 10 metres basically. And Terrier will now have to try and he might try and put it in the air this time rather than along the ground because he has to get it past Oliver Hipwood. No, he drives it straight. Hipwood meets the ball, knocks it off the centre and out over the back line. Now, that may be a... There it goes, and it does go off the stick there. Hipwood getting the shaft of his stick to the ball. Good eye. So a further hit will be awarded now. In the event that the defending side puts the ball over the back line, that a penalty hit is awarded. And there you see the shot. No, oh, sorry, he's just practicing. <laughs> so now, Terrera comes in. Ollie Hipwood will try and do it again. Sitting in the goal mouth. In comes Gajema Terrera. Puts the ball along the ground. He can't stop this one. And Hong Kong now push out to a pretty handy situation. They're leading now by four goals to one. So... A lot of pressure on England. They really need to do something here about this consistent forward attack of the Hong Kong side. So James Harper decides to keep possession himself rather than giving the ball away. Keeps control of it, brings it around behind a couple of players, up to John Fisher, it bounces off his pony. In comes George Merrick. Now Merrick it runs it down, oh, it's bounced the wrong way. Fisher's there with a the backhand, but he doesn't get much of it, but it's picked up by Martin in Chaspe. And uh, here comes Terrera and Merrick. Merrick brings the ball around the corner rather than going for the back line. It bounces awkwardly for him. Holly Hipwood can't come in there. In comes in Chaspe. Now Harper's backhand, drives it down the field. Merrick comes out, he gets a big bump from uh, but he just can't pick up the next shot backhand by Terrera off John Fisher's pony cleaned up beautifully there by Matt down in Chaspe so he takes it way out over the sideline they're happy to see that because that's the first real attack England have had for about a chucker and a half just a bad bounce there for George Merrick but if they keep that up the goals will come so, out of the line out, George Merrick once again. I said, good stick man, drives the ball up towards the goal. This one's going to be good for England. And so they pull the score back to two goals, the difference. And that's that second goal they've needed now for about uh, a chugger and a half or two almost. And uh, George Merrick, see him coming through there. He comes down, he gives up a big bump to Torreira, takes him out of the way, gives him the shot at the ball. He's out in front. And so, Torreira will hit him from the back line. He has done so. Comes in now with the second shot. Brings it forward again. Now players, both teams trying to keep control of the ball, not hitting it away. As soon as they do, possession goes to the opposition. But John Fisher decides to hit this one because he saw Torreira going up front. And a big skid and slide there from um, the bump from Harper takes Torreira almost off the pony, but it's good enough to uh, stop the ball going to the goal and over the back line. So England now, a bit of a let off. So from the back line, it's James Harper for England. Harper, round the back. Keeps control there. Oh, and digs the ball out of the snow, then turned around John Fisher. His near side backhands have been really solid right through this tournament. He's been very hard to get past. So Merrick has to go back into an unfamiliar back position. Helped on its way by Harper. Now he gets a turn. But um, Torreira got in there. Torreira getting onto the stick side now. Torreira coming around the corner. Picks it up again now. Harper will go with him, but he's got it on the stick side. Runs it down towards the goal. It's bouncing up in front of the goal now, but Harper's going to get it around now. Backhand by Howard. Doesn't pick it up. And Torreira will run it in, and that's five goals to Hong Kong. And so the local team gets a uh, good round of support here from the crowd. Five goals to two, the score. Hong Kong in the lead. We're in the third chakra, and we've got 44 seconds to go. James Harper, now desperate stuff for England here. They were getting back into that game nicely, but now the lead's pushed out to three again. There's only a chakra and a bit to go. Harper, under the net now. 
There's the bell, 30 seconds. Up comes in Charles Bay. He hits a oh, pony, hits a pony. In comes Ollie Hipper, and that's going to be the third one for England. Well, in Charles Bay did a great job to get to that ball, but he just, the pony got its knee in the way. And it bounced up there, and there it goes. In Charles Bay's shot bounces up for Ollie Hipwood to take the ball through. And so, 5 3, and there goes the siren. That'll end the third chucker. So, we've got one chucker to go. We've got two goals the difference. Hong Kong in the lead, as I said, getting plenty of crowd support. So, they will. See if they could just hang on to this approach they're taking. They scored in that uh, in that chucker. They scored three goals. Uh, England just uh, England getting two, so they're quite happy with that. I would think, except they'd like to be just a goal closer in this chucker on a horse called Negro, which was the champion pony here at the 2012 tournament. So now, round the front comes George Merrick as the ball's thrown in, and he uh, I think has incurred the wrath of the umpires. He came round the front, swung a backhand. But no, I think it looks like. Uh, well, that's an interesting one. Don't know if we've got a replay of that, but um, Merrick thought he'd been blown. He suddenly appealed to the umpires, but it's been given to England. So maybe it was uh, just a hook going in there at the, at the wrong angle, but never mind. James Harper's happy to take it. And he'll run the ball down on the stick side now, tries to bring it up to the goal. He's getting close, he's getting close, and it bounces awkwardly for him. First one in there is in Charles Bay, but the whistle has gone again. Now, if there was a Hong Kong player drifting in front, let's see, here comes, and Fish is there, and he turns the pony a couple of times in front, and I think the umpire said he may have blocked James Harper's ability to get to that ball by swinging the hindquarters of his pony across. So the ball has been placed on the spot. Hong Kong will go back behind the line. James Harper will. Just walk in. So a couple of penalties, quite critical to Hong Kong because that's brought the difference back to just a goal. Now we've got a polo game on our hands. Five goals to four, five minutes 38, to, so we're only 20 seconds into the chucker. And already England have pulled back that lead to just one goal. So Guillermo Torreira will try and get out of this danger zone. Goes up the centre of the field, that's taking a chance. It's backed in by Hipwood. Hipwood shot will go over the back line well out to the left, but it's still England in the attack zone. Yep. The, uh, so, Torreira brings the ball up now. John Fisher trying to give him room to come through. He's done that successfully. Merrick comes in and bumps him. He's got Inchow Space sitting out on the end there now. It's, no, but it's backed out by Hipwood. In comes Harper. Harper goes on the near side. Can't pick it up. Inchow Space out there. Said he was roving around looking for the loose ball. He's picked it up too. Bang. Down to the centre it goes. In comes Torreira. Torreira's going to be hard ridden though by Harper. Harper can't get it. Merrick can. Merrick um, hits the ball out the sideline. Harper's lost the head of his stick, so he'll go and get a fresh one. And the ball goes um, up to the halfway line now. And there's two men on three here, but it's still Hipwood in possession for England. But John Fish has got time to come around now. Now, let's see what his teammates are going to do. Harper's back on the field. Got a nice new stick. Picked up there by Hipwood. Hipwood shot is stopped by Inchow Space Pony. And he'll just, well, blow the whistle. So let's see, I think. Gemma Torreira looked pretty confident. In they come here. Merrick plays the shot in front of John Fisher. And the umpires have said no. He's gone across the front of the horse there, so. Well. I thought that's what they'd said. They've said no. He had a right to be there. The, actually, the, the Hong Kong player coming in there came in at an angle affected his shot that's a penalty so james harper 
the fourth chucker in a four chucker match. It's five goals to four if it's five all at the end of this. Now John Fisher plays the backhand shot and once again the whistle blows. The umpires really policing this game quite strictly in this fourth chucker. And England, well they found another gear. And, uh, pushed down into that attacking area. Hong Kong have not really had any scoring chance in this chucker so far. And we've had a couple of minutes of it, so. They'll have to get going soon. If England keep this up, they'll just keep banging away down on that attack zone and eventually the goals come. So a defended goal penalty here for England this time. And uh, Martin in Charles Bay will sit in the goal mouth, see if he can block this one coming through. So James Harper may try and put it in the air. It's quite a still day. You can see the flags around the ground. There's a bit of a breeze once you get up there. So if you put it too high in the air, and this is, a, as I said, a softer ball. It's inflated and uh, segmented. So if, it, if you hit it offline, it gets a spin on it, much like a cricket ball. And it... Uh, if it gets in the air and starts spinning, it'll drift away quite quickly. So the idea is to hit it, try and get backspin on it, and get it in the air a little bit, keep it going straight. It's quite a difficult task. So James Harper will go back nice and deep for this one, I think. He'll canter in, he won't walk in, and he'll try and get some length and height on the ball. Here he goes, bang. Drives it out to the left. So that's been the result of a lot of these defended penalties. Um, you saw Torreira coming in, taking his, just tapping him forward. And Hipwood able to block one, not the next one. So Hong Kong breathe a sigh of relief here. They cling to that five to four lead and uh, Torreira bring it up along the boards. Now, George Merrick brings it back on the attack for England because Harper's there, so is John Fisher. His little backhand shot is going to be met there by Torreira. Torreira picks up the pass. He's hooked out of it by Merrick, but he gets the next shot in. Hipwood goes in there, tries to hook him out of it. Torreira, good stick work by Torreira. Brings it through a couple of the defenders. Goes off uh, Harper's pony. Picked up now by John Fisher. Fisher running it in towards the goal. Fisher's running it right in towards the goal, but it's going to the right of the post. Backhand by Merrick. It's a cracker because it's got them out of a heap of trouble. Up comes Harper with the ball now. Can he get it down there for this equaliser? Drives the ball, doesn't get a lot of length on it. In comes Hipwood, doesn't get it. Merrick does. Merrick brings the ball along the boards. I think it's gone over the boards. Yes, it has. It's gone out. So half the chucker to go. We've had three minutes and it's five goals to four. Hong Kong in the lead. England doing most of the work in this chucker, but Hong Kong got up on the attack that time, so England need the next goal if they're going to stay in this. Merrick's there to try and get it. Oh, Hipwood's over it. Now Harper. Harper shot, backhand shot, gets it through the ponies, met there by Inchas Bay. Inchas Bay brings the ball around the corner. Now he cuts it across into centre field. Plenty of wide shirts there in defence. James Harper, high in the air, gets it away from the ponies' legs. Torreira, Torreira and Hipwood coming in. Torreira just waits and waits and then goes round the corner with it. And Harper's there, backhand by Harper. That's got a bit of length on it. John Fisher sitting nice and deep. He's got the back door shut. Turns it around to the boards, bounces off. Just goes off the boards. Harper's the only man there at the moment. So he'll try and take it around in Bay. In Bay comes in, Hipwood's in there, and Hipwood leans across in front and plays the ball, and the umpires blow the whistle. So. I think it'll probably be just a hit on the spot. It was just occurred in the run of play. So. But it gives Hong Kong the chance to get on the attack. England have got two minutes left in this chucker. And uh, they certainly need the next goal. Worst case for them is all square. Worst case for Hong Kong is nobody scores from here. So, Torreira. Torreira comes forward now. And Don John Fisher brings it up towards goal. Now drive it in. And that's a cracker of a goal from John Fisher. 
And that might have put Hong Kong into the final. I don't know there's time yet for England, but two goals in a tight game like this. So, James Harper, they've got to get two goals now. See the replay here. Fisher came in on the near side. A lovely shot by John Fisher. Bounced it up and rolled it through. So, well, no, I think I thought the umpire put his paddle up, but it didn't. That was wide. So, it's um, still just a goal, the difference. So, in goes Merrick now, bringing the ball up for England. England now on the attack. In comes Harper. Harper turns the ball, but no, he doesn't. It's uh, Gajema Torreira who picks it up now. He takes the ball hard towards the centre line, but it's backed out there. Sorry, it was um, Inchas Bay. This is Torreira. Torreira on Negro, and he... Um, trying to clean the ball up now, just tucks the ball under the pony's neck, puts it forward now, back in defence there. Oliver Hipwood plays the ball back, but there's been a whistle, and uh, Torreira appealed very early. Let's see. There's a, you see a jet plane heading for other parts, but Gemma Torreira was pretty confident he had been fouled. And, uh, so, Hong Kong, China. Have the penalty hit. But this is a defended penalty, so Hipwood was able to stop one before. Can he do it again? Gemma Torreira just practices his swing as he turns to come in to take this vital penalty. If he can put them two goals in front with 46 seconds to go, it's going to be very, very hard for England to pull this one out. So, Torreira, Hong Kong defending the title they won last year. It would have to be almost yeah. He puts it high in the air, and that goes right out over the horse lines. Terrera, that's the way to hit a defended goal. So Harper wastes no time getting back now. England need two. Up comes George Merrick with the ball. He's running it off the boards. Now he cuts the ball in, but it's going. Well, there's the bell. And so there's only 30 seconds left. It's over the back line. Hong Kong will have to hit in if England can trap it. They just might get one goal, but I doubt they can get two. And so I think we see Hong Kong, China for the second time at the World Cup. 12 months later, we'll be in a final. So the ball's taken in by Hong Kong, but it's not near any of the English players. It's up to Inchas Bay, and Inchas Bay swings the stick over, and Hong Kong have played themselves into the final of the World Cup for the second year in a row. And congratulations, but how about a very big uh, hand from everybody for the England team because they played their hearts out there. They just nearly got into it, but that um, that period in the third chucker where Hong Kong managed to get ahead by three goals, it just was catch-up polo from them for England.